Hello, happy Wednesday. We are all happy here. We yes. we took a few minutes because both of us had little random things happen this morning that we're like, wait, what the heck? And then now we're back to norm. We're great. Centered, balanced, ready to go. I'm excited today because I love, I'm actually kind of obsessed with um, blow drying and finding good ways to blow dry for you guys. And different ways and different tricks and how to get like really good blow dries. Mine is from yesterday, so I can do refresher things. Um, when's your blow dry from today? Yesterday. Yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, so her hair ab 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 little, obviously <laughs> stays straighter than mine. Yeah, um, well, mine. I had to redo my bangs this morning, but yeah, that's about it. That's how it does. That's that how it does. does. I'm imagining that, you know, um, dry bars and different blow dry bars are either closed or hard to get to, or you have to wear a face mask for them. Yeah. And so I'm thinking a lot of people are probably blow drying more at home or leaving your hair more natural and just looking for shortcuts. So if that's you and you have questions, please send them our way. Um, otherwise I am going to just start with things that I think would help you. And then if you have any, you know, just, um, Pipe in whenever yeah. you want. Well, Chime I'm actually in. glad that you're doing this because on the opposite end of the spectrum of you, I hate blow drying. <laughs> so I'm excited to learn about your tips and see yeah. if I can apply them to myself as well. All right, perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you, I've, I've come up with a couple new shortcuts that I think are really helpful and beneficial to people. Okay, let me rephrase that. I don't like blow drying. I like perfecting a blow dry so that I have to do it as least as possible. So that's really... That's what I need though. Yeah, that's that really... I can at least enjoy and know that it's going to last. <laughs> that is my skill set. <laughs> that's my skill set is just studying it and figuring out like how can I make this faster, easier, less <laughs> movement, whatever I can do. One of my favorite things that I've recently learned is I always blow dry on low. And um, it's because I really like to have control over each piece and control it and put it exactly where I want. But I've learned to utilize, like at the very beginning of my blow dry, in the most despised part of your hair, everybody all at once, what's the most despised part of blow drying? Oh, I knew it. <laughs> so, okay, so right here. And so I've got this little trick that I wanted to teach you guys that I think um, not only speeds that up, but also like makes it the first thing you do so you have it out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go on high. And you're gonna take your paddle brush and you're just going to place it over and do the back, all the side, and straight down the middle. And you're just blow drying over to the other side. And then do that for a little bit. And then switch it and go to the other side. And you're going to place that all over. So you're just placing it a little bit? Yes. The part line. Exactly. So your goal is in that is to take all the hair and get the most wet spot, the part that stays wet the longest, mostly out of the way. So you're just getting, if I can turn you around yeah. and point. So what you're doing is you're moving the hair over to this side and you're blow drying all of this right here, just this part, okay, just this segment. And then when you get that done, then you're going to move all of this hair over and you're going to blow dry all of this segment, okay? So you're looking just to get from root to the mid shaft, not very far out. You don't have to go very far because all of this will dry later. So then once you get that like fairly dry, so it's just more towards the damp stage, then you can move on into the rest of your blow dry. And what I love about that is, well, Main thing is, is that I get it out of the way early. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a time saver too. It bit. is because otherwise you're, by the end you're so hot and you're trying to deal with that area mm -hmm. and it's just kind of a nightmare, I think. Like it's just <laughs> my least favorite place to blow dry. And I think for most people, because you can't see what you're doing, it's all, you have to be contorted into weird things to do it. It's just a pain. So if you get that middle back area, then all you're going to do is this lower part. And you can do that when you're doing the rest. And so that's pretty easy. I mean, you know, that's with my hair length. Mm -hmm. I think other hair lengths, mm, probably about the same until you get to like mid shoulder. And then you guys usually have less hair to deal with in general. But if you start back there, then you've got it done too. And that flat wrapping thing that I taught you, which is just using the shape of your head 
will help with volume, it will help with shape, and it will help with smoothing all at the same time. So I, I think, forgot that was called a flat wrap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hair school days. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so that's one of my favorite things. So I think that shortcuts you quite a bit to just get that done and not be worrying about the bumps in the back and the when you're hot, blow drying that segment. So mm -hmm. um, tackle it first. Let's see how it goes. Your whole goal is to get this scalp area, you know, pretty close to dry and then do the ends as much as you can. You can do that in segments. You can do it all over. Um, but, you know, get those pieces that dry um, really fast out of the way, either close to right after this or right before this. So you can either do this face frame first or the back first and then face frame second. But I always recommend doing face frame near the beginning because you don't want to be blow drying it and get it out of sorts, which is like ends up like this. So kind of wavy or too dry looking, right? Mm -hmm. So it'll look like just disheveled. Yeah, this is one of my favorite things is, yeah, and I don't ever put the blow dryer down because I just want to get through everything as fast as possible. And I don't do any sectioning because same reason, I just want it to get done as fast as possible. So what I do is I take the round brush and I either start in the beginning and I'll do my bangs. So I'll s switch from the paddle here into, I never do anything the same because I'm always learning for you guys, <laughs> Let, let's be honest. But um, generally. You know, generally speaking, <laughs> I will address this face frame second. So once I do the face frame, I go in, because this requires two hands, so that's why I like to start with that because then I've from there on, I don't have to put my brush down. Okay, so I'm going in and I'm doing this, you know, getting the bangs area. And for those of you who haven't seen this before, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do, which is take the hair, actually, I'm going to, Use upstage real quick on it because then it'll shape better. Otherwise, especially because you're coming it. from dry hair. Yeah, blow drying it all the same. So the first thing I like to do is get that dip in at the base from my scalp. So I'm really looking to make it dive down and forward first. Okay. So I'm blowing back at my head on this because I really want to get that dip in there. And then the next thing I do is I split it into where I want my part to be. And then I go in and control it by shaping it exactly how I want. So you can see I want, you can almost see the shape I want just by how I'm holding it. Do you see that like little rounded edge? So that's what I'm going for. And my bangs are getting longer now, so they might create a curl instead of just that dip in the wing. Yeah. yeah, which I meant to bring my shears today and really do that. So you can see how different that looks just by stretching and putting it right into place. And then I really want to get my ends under control right here. So I'm just going back and making sure they're shaped like this and then just lay it down. Okay, so you can see how much order that brings to just make the whole style come together so much faster. So that's like the quickest trick. Like if your hair is frizzy, if your hair is out of control, if you just control this little face frame area, you'd be shocked at how mm -hmm. much that does for your that's style. Crazy. Yeah, especially you, right? Like oh, you yeah. probably only blow dry this little yep. segment, right? Yeah. The rest of my hair can look crazy and it doesn't really matter but as long as this little front area looks pretty decent. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Um, Stephanie wants to know how do you stop the flyaways when drying? What I really want to do is make sure my airflow is always pointing down, not up, like up at, away from it, unless my brush is going up away, right? So you want to go down towards the ground because that's laying the cuticle down and not pushing the hair back up again. See how that does mm -hmm. that? Yeah, it's wide right away. Right away. Yeah. So you're looking to control those. So you want to go either forward or down. The main thing is, is you want to be pointing at the bottom of the hair strand, wherever that is. If it's forward towards your face, you want to be pointing 
because then you're working with the cuticle. So if I'm looking for just straight, I'm going to look to stretch the hair. That's the main thing, stretching it like this and then stretching it down here and not spinning my brush a lot, not really rolling it on here and heating it like this. You're looking to just create the stretch back here and right after where the breath, where the airflow is. You just want straight and stretch. And that's all you're looking to do. The more you can straighten and stretch, the more the hair will look like that. If I'm looking to create like more fullness, then I'm looking to pull out and up and I'm really looking to use the shape of the brush mm -hmm. more. So I'm really looking to blow dry down here more. And you can see how then it has a bend first and then straightens. So that's what is starting that cooling process. So that will create more of a full blowout. So you're always looking for straight and stretch. So if I'm using a paddle brush, I'm going to be looking like, I use this. This is a quick tip of like, one of the reasons you don't need to set down a blow dryer a lot is I see how I grab. Right here, I'm creating tension and then I'm getting the straight. So what I'm looking for is my airflow to be right here, not down here, not here, here. And then I can stretch and get as much, see how this is more straight now? But this is creating the tension I need to straighten and stretch this, okay? And then you're just looking to really at the bottom just create that same effect. You're looking to just keep it as stretched and straight as possible with your airflow going down towards the ends of the hair. So, okay, well, hopefully that helped you today. Um, if you have more questions, we're always here. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Um, Bye. Bye. <laughs>